Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to be taking a look at Zero Linux. Now this is a new release of the GNOME version. But before we get started, please do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Now, we are at Zero Linux's website, which is zerolinux.xyz. I'll be sure to put that in the description below. And I have covered the KDE version, and I have covered the XFCE version. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the GNOME version. This is the newest release. It was released on the 13th of January, and it talks a little bit here. It says, this was requested hard on both Discord and Telegram. I succumbed to the pressure and released it. It fully supports Wayland on NVIDIA cards. That's the biggest part. Otherwise, it's just basic. He opted out of adding too many GNOME extensions because it's notorious for having them break. So in essence, this edition only exists because of the request from the community. A new version will only be released on major events. New Year's, Valentine's, Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas. So it's going to be more of a holiday type release. And it's not going to be released as frequently as the others. But this is the last addition to the Zero Linux family and he hopes you like it. And then you come down here and you've got the main version which is the KDE. Which I have covered that one before in a previous video. I'll link it at the end of this video if you're interested in it. And then the Zero Linux XFCE. I'll link it at the end of the video as well. And then the Zero Linux GNOME that we're taking a look at today. And then down here, you can also get some Riced versions, theme versions. You can download Grub themes if you would like. And then it's got a gallery of the different operating systems and how they look. Up top, you've got Home, you've got About, you've got Download, Customization, Gallery, My PC Build, and of course, Forum, should you have any problems. Now, like any other Linux distribution, the Forum is the best place to go if you do have issues. This is an Arch-based distro, okay? And it's his personal project, and I have been really, really impressed with the different versions he's come out with. They have all been really good, quick, and fast, so... What we're going to do right now is we're going to zip on over to the desktop and take a look at Zero Linux GNOME. So if you download Zero Linux, throw it on a USB, or put it into a virtual machine and boot into it, this is the screen you're met with. Right off the bat, you get a welcome screen up here. Let's go ahead and move this in the center, and let's go ahead and maximize that. That's a little too big, guys. It's only got two options, so I'm going to go back down. Sorry about that. We can start Zero Linux Installer, or you've got VMware Resolution Fix. Should you be running this on a VMware virtual machine, you can go in and fix the resolution and it worked just fine. I don't seem to be having any resolution issues, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And as you notice, you get the regular GNOME desktop, okay? you got a dock down here, okay? And it looks like they're using the dash to dock as opposed to just having it pop up when you go to the hot corners. You do have an application menu up here. And then you've got your single panel up top, which has your battery life, of course, your percentage of battery, sound, internet, and then right here it shows that it does have 46 updates, and then you do have the tiling option up here. If you want to open up several different things here, and you would like to use that tiling option, just come up here, click on it, tile windows, and it'll arrange them where you want them, okay? At present over here inside the console, it lets you know that we are using Zero Linux Pure, Linux Kernel 5.16.0, GNOME 41.3, Bash 5.1.6, and then of course it's using Pac-Man, and there's 1,278 packages at present. What I'm going to do real quick is zip on over here and go to top. And I have 3 gigabytes of RAM issued to this virtual machine. At present, it's using about 680 megabytes of RAM, which isn't too bad, guys. It's not as light as some of the ones I've used that are around two or 300, and it's not as high as some of the ones I've seen that run about 1.5, 1.6. So you're going to get a lower mid-weight operating system here. And if you're looking for something that's going to be gentle on your resources but still look good, this is definitely one to take a look at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn the tiling back off. And we're going to close these windows out. And if you come back up top, you've got two different workspaces here. Okay. Okay. And right next to your workspaces, you have a drop-down terminal. You can just come over here. You can go ahead and do what we just did in the regular terminal, and it'll show you all that information pretty quick. So let's go ahead and close out of that. 
Of course, you got your date, time, and your notification center right here. If you come down here, it'll show you your notifications. You can turn your Do Not Disturb on right here. You've got your calendar right here, and then, of course, your weather. Now, if you wanted to change your weather, all you got to do is click on it, search for a city or country. I'm going to go ahead and put in Dallas, Texas. Let's go ahead and go with Love Field, and it'll show your weather right there, Okay. You can move this over, you can maximize it, and then you can close out of it. And then if you come back up here, your weather will be right here in your notification center. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Right click on the desktop, you've got change background. Let's take a look at that. And when that pops up, you've got different choices here. We've got 13 different backgrounds to choose from. If you wanted to, just click on one and it would change it immediately. As you can see with the top panel, you do have transparency up here. It's really a decent looking operating system. Let's go ahead and cover the settings while we're here. You've got network. Right now it shows we are wired with no VPN. You can set that up right here or your network proxy right here. Bluetooth, background, notifications, search, multitasking, applications, privacy, online accounts. You can go in and set up all your online accounts, whether it be Google, NextCloud, Facebook, Microsoft, however you want to adjust that. And then, of course, you've got power, displays, keyboards, removable media, accessibility, default applications or about, just your basic GNOME settings. So let's go ahead and close out of that. On the bottom, you have Firefox as your default browser, and then you have Nemo. Now, I did touch on this about a month ago. This used to come with the Polo File Manager, which is an awesome file manager. It still has a couple quirks and bugs that they're getting worked out, and I think when they get those worked out, it's going to be a great and powerful tool. But right now, he has switched back to Nemo, which I think is the best choice at this moment in time. And when you open up Nemo, it's a basic file manager. It's just quick, fast, stays out of your way. You've got your usual suspects over here. you got your home folders right here. And I do love the theme that he has picked for this. It's kind of a subdued, darker theme. It may not be your cup of tea, but if it is, I definitely think you're going to like it. Let's go ahead and make those just a hair bigger. Okay, you do have a little bit of customization you can use in there. Let's go ahead and maximize, minimize. We'll go ahead and close out of that. And then tweaks. If you're running GNOME, everybody knows that the GNOME tweak tool is definitely a nice tool to have. If you open it up, you've got several different options here. You've got appearance. You can change your themes of applications, cursors, icons, your shell. Fonts, you can adjust font size, what kind of hinting, anti-aliasing that you would like. Keyboard and mouse, startup applications. If you want specific applications to start up when you boot your system up, you can add those or take them away right here. Top bar, you can have activities overview hot corner, battery percentage, you can turn that on or off. And then, of course, the clock, you can have weekday, date, seconds, calendar, you can have the week numbers if you would like. Window title bars, you can adjust those. Windows, and of course your workspaces. So if you do download this, take it for a test drive, be sure to check out the tweaks. Let's go ahead and close that. Back down to the bottom, there's your extensions. Screenshot tool, should you want to take a screenshot, just open that up. It'll let you know, do you want to do screen, window, or selection? If you want to do screen, you just click on screen, take your screenshot, or you can do a specific window, or you can select what you want to take a screenshot of. So we'll take a screenshot of that. It takes it. And then right here, you can save it or do whatever you want there. So let's go ahead and cancel that and close. And then you've got your terminal, which we've already looked at, your trash, and then, of course, show applications. You've got two different areas here that you can show applications. If you're not a fan of the full screen application look, you can just close that back down and pop up here, and you have a regular app menu up here, okay? So let's go back down here. Take a look at what comes with Zero Linux GNOME. You've got contacts, weather, clocks, maps, books, photos, calculator, archive manager, system monitor, settings, and then, of course, adding and removing software. Let's go ahead and open that up. We will go ahead and maximize this. Now, this is an Arch distribution, so there's a couple things you want to do before you start getting in-depth to the add and removing software or updating. You want to come up here to where the three dots are, click on it, drop down to Preferences, Authenticate that and go over to third party and right here you want to enable your AUR support. That's the Arch user repository. Right here you can get packages that have been put together by the community that aren't available in the official repositories. Then you can come down here and check for updates and then you want to go ahead and go back to general and then double check that 
The cache is set up. There you go for three. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And now the first thing it's going to let you know once you do that is if you click on over here to updates, it lets us know up here we've got 46 updates available, so it should give us a list of those right here. And it does. Here are all available updates that you have at present. Okay? So this is where you would update your system. Or you could come over here and look at installed applications. And it'll show all your installed applications. Or you can just go back and do a search. Let's look for something like OBS Studio. As you can see, it'll bring up OBS Studio right up here. Now, I do want to tell you something. Once you install this, it'll actually refresh your mirrors and refresh your repositories. When it does, you will actually have an OBS Studio from the official repository show here. But because that hasn't happened yet, it is showing you one that is available on the AUR. If you do decide to install it, refresh everything, you'll have an official version of it right there. So this is where you come to add and remove software and update your system. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Go back down to our applications. You got document scanner, accelerator, cheese, fonts, catfish file search, decomp editor, gammy, gparted. You have a lot of tools out of the box. You can kind of see that. It's a good looking operating system. Like I said, I really enjoy the project. The KDE version, the XFCE version are awesome. But that's it, guys. That is a quick look at Zero Linux GNOME. I think it's one of the better looking implementations of the GNOME desktop. If you disagree or you have a different opinion, please let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you enjoy the channel and like the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.